Welcome to another video. So today we're going to answer this person's question online, starting with silly questions from a beginner with an anxiety disorder. I already know what this person's probably going to ask because, you know, when you swim in a public pool setting, there is a lot of anxiety involved, okay? Especially when you're a beginner. You don't know what to expect. It's like going on the roller coaster for the first time. So let's dive into what he's going to say. Okay, I want to start swimming laps at the Y. The Y means YMCA, okay? So it's basically a pool, a public pool. Near me to get in shape after getting all COVID flabby. Uh, we all have gotten flabby thanks to COVID. Uh, I've been putting off going over a month because I have really bad anxiety. And even though I'm sure everyone will be very kind and understanding, I'm still worried about because I haven't swam at a pool since I was a little kid. I've met a lot of people who are in the same boat as you, okay? They start swimming when they were a little kid. Their parents forced them to take lessons. My mother forced me to take swimming lessons when I was a kid and I hated it. And then they stop and then they pick it up several years later when they become an adult and then they're, they're locked into that child mentality of where they left off, you know? Their swimming level has not progressed for like 10, 20, 30 years. So they're, they're trapped in that little bubble. So don't worry, a lot of people are in that boat. First, I know I should shower before entering the pool, but I'm wondering about some specifics. Do I shower with my suit on or do I put it on after I shower? I'm thinking after my pre-swim shower, I should dry off at least a little so I'm not soaking wet walking to the pool and showering with my trunks on would make them hold a ton of water that would drip everywhere. Okay, so the first question he's asking is, should I shower? with my swimsuit on or off, okay? So the answer is you should shower with your swimsuit on, okay? If you're a guy or a girl, put on your swimsuit first, dry. Put it on dry. So here's my routine. I enter the, the swimming pool locker room, okay? First thing I do is uh, I put on my swimsuit, or in my case, jammers, okay? If you're a guy, I recommend wearing jammers. Uh, if you're a girl, <clears throat> I recommend wearing a one piece. Okay, and I put it on dry, okay? Don't wear your underwear underneath your jammers. Don't wear your bra or anything like that sort underneath your swimsuit. You don't need it, okay? So don't, you just, you go naked underneath your swimsuit, if you're wondering. Then I go to the showers, okay, the, the public showers. And then I shower, I rinse my whole body off, okay? And I rinse my junk, rinse everything. Rinse as much as I can. And... During that period, I, I rinse my goggles, I rinse my swim cap, I put my swim cap on, I make sure everything is nice and rinsed before I enter the pool. Because I don't want any sort of, sort of form of uh, filth or whatever I bring to the pool swimming alongside. Also, 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 wear flip-flops, okay? The, the shower room, the change rooms are filthy, okay? They're covered with hair, dirt, spit, you know, all kinds of nasty, foul stuff, okay? You don't want to be stepping on that stuff with your feet, okay? And then bring it into the water, okay? So always wear flip-flops. Uh, once I'm showered and ready to swim, I have a similar question. I assume I bring the towel out to the pool so I'm not soaking wet back to the locker room too. So where do I put the towel while I swim? Uh, so this is a trick question, okay? Now, when you're swimming, you won't need a towel. Why? Because if you're swimming properly, like if you're really into the zone, you're swimming laps continuously, you won't need a towel. I'm serious. Because your body will have accumulated a lot of body heat, just like you do when you're running or you're playing sports for a long period of time. You're going to be huffing and puffing. You're going to be just feeling hot. Okay? So I don't carry a towel to the pool deck during my sessions. Okay? Why? Because... I do my continuous laps and I, I'm, I'm hot. I'm, I'm like <sighs> huffing and puffing. And then between my sets, I'm usually in the hot tub or the sauna or the steam room, okay? When I go to the sauna, you know, I, I'm totally dry after like five minutes being in that, that environment, okay? You, all that water will dry off. And you should incorporate this habit as well. You do not need a towel. If you have a towel, that means you're cold and shivering because you're just playing around. You're just goofing off. Okay, so if you're goofing off with you know, kids 
and your friends, then yeah, you probably will need a towel because you're, you're playing and then you're cold, you're not burning enough fat or you're not ex expending enough energy. And then you like lie down on a bench or a chair like some lazy people do at the pool. Yeah, you will need a towel. But in, in this case, if you're a lap swimmer, you won't need a towel. Also, bring a water bottle. I, I cannot tell you how many times people forget this one essential ingredient when it comes to their lap swimming, okay? You're swimming laps. You're, you're really pushing yourselves and you're drying your mouth out. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna drink pool water to re rehydrate yourself? No. Bring a water bottle, okay? Bring a plastic water bottle to the pool deck. That's okay. Don't bring glass. Obviously, some people do. I don't know why they're so stupid, but bring a plastic water bottle because you'll need to rehydrate yourself after one set or after you're spending time in the sauna or hot tub. You need water, okay? You can't drink the pool water, okay, for that stuff. And lastly, I'm nervous about the whole sharing lanes thing since I'm so new. I get the idea of finding a lane where people are going your speed and going in circles. Yes, that's true. But for my first time, I'm really not going not going to know how fast I'll be going. <laughs> okay, so if I show up and there's no empty lanes, how weird it would be if I just turned around and changed back to my clothes and left? Probably only like the lifeguard would notice but like if I tried more than once, there weren't free lanes. Would I become known as the weird guy that shows up and gets ready to swim and then turns around? No, you're not, okay? Now here's the thing about this, okay? There's a slow, there's a medium, and there's a fast lane in every public pool when it comes to lap swimming time, okay? Most people don't follow the rules. Just like driving, most people are idiot drivers, okay? Have you ever had a situation where you've had a pleasant experience during rush hour in traffic. I don't think so. You're gonna deal with dickheads all the time. The same thing goes with the pool, okay? So, some people are too slow for you. Some people are too fast for you. Some people are just not feeling the vi same vibe as you or they like, for example, they're, they're tailgating you or they're trying to cut you off or they're swimming in right in the middle of that lane <laughs> dangerously or they're doing whatever hygiene, hijinks they're, they're trying to do. Trust me, I've met them all, okay? It's not fun. So, what do you do in that kind of situation? This is what I do, okay? If you're anxious, if you need time to just be by yourself and just take a time out, go to the hot tub. That's my go-to spot, okay? Whenever I'm feeling tired, when I'm feeling pissed off because the person swimming beside me is doing something that I don't approve of, I get out of that situation and I go to the hot tub and I just chill and I just rethink, regroup, okay? When I'm in the hot tub, I'm not just relaxing my muscles and chilling. No, I'm, I'm actively scanning the lanes and seeing what type of swimmers there are in each lane. And then when the time is right, I'll get out of the hot tub and say, okay, I'm going to go to that lane. That lane is not occupied. I got to take that chance right now. Or I'm going to take that lane because that guy got out and now there's only one person swimming and that person is about my swim level, about my swim speed or whatever, right, that I'm going today. Okay, and that's how I do it. I assess the situation. Every day, you're gonna have to assess the situation at your pool. Who are you dealing with? This is just like poker, right? You don't play your hand, you play the person across the table from you, okay? Who are you playing with that day, on that day, at that time? And if it's people that you don't want to deal with, just like in rush hour traffic, you just got to get yourself away from those type of people. And that's why I go to the hot tub. I just chill, drink my cold ball of water, stretch, relax, and I just carefully monitor the lanes. Eventually, people finish their sets within like 10 to 20 minutes, all right? Rarely will you see someone swimming laps for like an hour continuously, unless you meet me. But <clears throat> most people, they finish around like 10, 15 minutes if they're intermediate level, all right? And when they finish, you'll know when they finish, when they gather all their stuff and they hop on out of that lane and they go to the hot tub and stuff. So just, you know, read the people around you is what I'd say, all right? And the more time you spend at your public pool, and get to know the lifeguards, your environment, and the people that you're swimming with, and they're gonna be like regulars. 
the more you'll more confidence you'll gain the less anxiety you will feel all right and the same thing goes with like you know going to the gym for the first time or going on a roller coaster for the first time going to a new workplace or job for the first time you just have to become familiar with your environment and see the patterns that's my tip for this person uh, I hope this has been helpful. Leave a like and comment down below about your experiences at your public pool and how you overcome your anxiety. And uh, get my free ebook. Download it right now. It's free, okay? Get it right now. Okay, get ready for summer 2022, okay? This guide will help you on your swimming journey and answer questions like this if you are too afraid to ask, okay? So get the book. Download it. Get instant access right now. Click it down below. Thanks for watching. My name's Justin and bye!